Lega. Fire can cool me up blazing. Me I be the one that bless me. Hey divas, so in today's video, I am here to share with you guys this unit that I am rocking right now. So if you guys are interested, then definitely go ahead and stay tuned. Okay divas, so before we jump right into the video, I did want to let you guys know that this video is being brought to you guys by wigtypes.com. So thank you so much wigtypes.com for sponsoring this video. I greatly appreciate it. But yeah divas, without further ado, if you guys are interested in the details and the specs on this unit, then definitely go ahead and stay tuned. Okay divas, so jumping right in, today we have a unit by sensational it is called Terry and I have her in the color number 1B as you guys can see so here is a texture so the texture of the hair is like a very nice soft yakky texture here's the cow construction this unit is average head friendly so it means it can fit small and large heads it does feature two combs in the front as well as a comb in the back with the adjustable straps this unit also features a 4x4 parting area and the lace is soft so here's how the unit looks straight directly onto my head and I don't think it looks bad. On me this unit falls at about a 16 to 18 inch depending on, you know, I don't know, I'm about 5'2", so that's how it falls on me. So anywho, with this unit I did go ahead and brush through it to see if I would get any shedding or tangling. I did experience absolutely no tangling like it was like very minimal if there was any and then i experienced minimal shedding which was really good so now i'm showing you guys that i cannot go ahead and put this hair up into a ponytail because once i pull it up like the lace doesn't cover my hairline because my hairline protrudes out so it's not the fault of the wig i did go in and put this ponytail at the top but i didn't like it because it looked too thin um but, you know, that was my own fault. I could not use all the hair just because of the way my hairline is. But that's how it looks if you put it in the ponytail with the 4x4 area. So, it's a very thin, sparse ponytail. So, we're just going to go ahead and take that out. And then I'm just going to go in and make the unit work for me. And then I'll finish out with my closing thoughts. Okay Divas, so now that you guys have seen all the details and the specs on this unit, I am here to tell you guys my closing thoughts and all that good stuff, so let's just jump right in. Okay, so of course we are going to go ahead and touch bases on this unit, like what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, and all that good stuff. So let's just jump right into what I liked about this unit, okay? So um, number one, the first thing I noticed about this unit was the texture. This texture is everything. It's like a really nice subtle yakky texture and it looks very nice and very believable and I am really in love with it the second thing that I really noticed and I liked was the bangs I really love how like it's not like too full of a bang um so yeah I really do like that how it's just like very sheer and just I don't know I don't like like a complete full bang on me because I feel like I don't know if it's the face the shape of my face excuse me but I just don't like that so these bangs to me are like really perfect I really do love like the thinned out you know like type of sheer am I saying that right like you guys know what I mean like that just these bangs are really really cute I also really love the cap construction on this unit this cap is very comfortable it also comes with a 4x4 party which you guys are able to um, you know part it if you would like to like you could part this like down the middle if you wanted to um, I don't know why anybody would want to wear their bangs like kind of parted down the middle but you can do that if you choose to let me get myself together so yeah I do like the fact that you do have like a little bit of versatility and then also I love how it has a parting space up here because it just gives it like that natural vibe you know like this could be like a sew-in or something or this could be um your hair um you know and you just cut it in bangs or something so I really like that I also really love the length the length falls at about like a 16 to an 18 on me um 
which I really do like the length. I, the length for me was a pro and a con, but when I get into the cons, I'm going to tell you why, um, as well as the parting space. So I'm having like kind of a love-hate relationship with this unit so far, but more so love because I am just in love with this texture. The hair is so soft and it does have like really minimal shedding. So I really do like that. Um, I'm not experiencing any uh, major shedding and I really do like that because I was expecting it to have like a lot of shedding but it doesn't so I really do like that so yeah I think those are pretty much my pros so this is a really pretty unit now why this is a really pretty unit I did have some cons with it um number one and we need to grab the stock card in this case okay so number one um they did not lie about the fab fringe um or the fringe frame um you know the bangs or whatever these are really fabulous fringe bangs and i actually really want this unit other colors as well because this is just so fabulous and i feel like in a blonde color this would give me so many summer vibes but anyway so while i do like the four by four parting area um i don't feel like you can achieve so much of like this look now granted i did only take you know, I did only take the 4x4 four four parting, but I don't know. I was expecting it to be a little bit more hair there. I don't know. Um, you guys know, like, the way my hairline is set up, I'll tell you guys why I didn't do it exactly like on the stock car model. So the way my hairline is set up, like, my hair protrudes out, so I wouldn't have been able to, you know, kind of, like, put the hair up. So I was just expecting it to be a little bit more hair in the 4x4 four four um parting area however i mean that's not like a deal breaker because most people are not like me with like this werewolf hairline so you won't have to worry about that because my hairline nearly meets my brows so um most people won't have to worry about you know not being able to pull it up so if you cannot pull it up or you just wanted to use the 4x4 area you know because you don't want to like glue it down or anything um i would say that you're not going to be able to achieve like the look on the stock car model if you're just going to use the 4x4 area you are going to have to like use all of the um all of the hair like in in the front area so just keep that in mind because you guys seen like the ponytail that i had in was looking really stingy and it was just not really pleasing to the eye at all so that's why i took it out but i did want to show you guys that you can go ahead and put in a ponytail with the 4x4 if you want to but it was looking like very stingy so i just took it out because i was like no it does not look good also another con that i had was like the fact that i don't know like the back seems like it's a little bit like in some areas it seems like a little bit shorter like yeah okay over here so in the back it seems like it's a little bit shorter or it is a little bit shorter as you guys can see so i wasn't really too fond of that um the hair is thick enough in the front where it can cover it up but i was just kind of like turned off by that but like i said it's not like a deal breaker or anything but i just did want to tell you guys like the cons that i had and that's pretty much all the cons that i had with the unit um because overall i think she is very fabulous um but like I said before, just keep those things in mind. Keep my cons in mind. If you were thinking like I was thinking, I was thinking I was going to be able to do it with the 4x4. But it's okay because this unit is absolutely gorgeous. So um, yeah, if you guys are interested, I will have a link down in the description box below. So be sure to go ahead and check that out. But yeah, Divas, overall, I do love this unit. I think she is fabulous. So yeah, Divas, that is pretty much it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and found it very helpful and easy to follow. If you fabulous girls did then go ahead and give me a thumbs up be sure to leave me a comment down below i would love to know what you fabulous girls are thinking and be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already and also hit that notification bell girl because i do upload quite often and you definitely do not want to miss any of my videos but yeah it was thank you guys so so much for watching i greatly appreciate it and i'll see you gorgeous girls in my next video bye